hey guys welcome back to the video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can add a pause menu inside your game here if i'll click on this resume button our game gets resumed the game is paused click on the resume button the game is resumed and here in option button you can keep all your game settings and the graphics settings i'm using this widget for the tutorial purpose let's go back and here we have a main menu which will take us to the main menu of the game let's click on the level one let's pause the game again and here we finally have a desktop button if we click this we can exit the game so let's see how to do it so to do it right click go to user interface and create a widget blueprint i'm going to name this pause menu ui let's open this and let's search for the buttons on the palette let's drag this to the canvas panel and you can resize it according to your game for tutorial i'm going to use four buttons for the pause menu so let's right click and duplicate i'm going to duplicate it four times and now let's arrange them okay after arranging them we can rename the buttons for the first one i'm going to name this resume button second one i'm going to name option button and third one i'm going to name main menu and finally for the fourth one i'm going to name this quit button so after renaming them we need images for the buttons so that our pause menu will look good so if i'll show you in the button image folder i already have bunch of images for the buttons so let's apply the image for the resume button so let's select on the content browser and through this small arrow you can uh, apply the image but here you can see it is kind of distorted and the image is looking kind of weird with the button and you will face this problem every time you will try to make ui with the unreal engine so it is important to know the solution here if you will see carefully the resolution of image is 400 by 154 whereas our button size is something else so your image size should be equals to the button size otherwise it can create problem with the image pixels so let's change the button size to the image size and here you can see the image is no more distorted or looking weird it's perfectly fine so you can apply the images to all of the other buttons with the same way and if you want these images i've already provided all the images i've used in this video in the description below so if you'll watch the resolution of these images they are very high why i did that so that you can resize these images into any size you want and this will not cause any problem and if you don't know how to resize these images you can open them and here you can resize these images so you can type any size you want and you will get corresponding height for that then you can save it and use it but if you don't find this resize image option in your pc then what you can do you can go on google and you can then search for resize image online and then you can go on any website you can upload that uh, image which you want to resize you can change this to pixels and then you can enter the width and you will get the corresponding height then set the format to png because it has transparent background then click on the resize image and here you can download the resized image and use it in your unreal engine now what i want to do is uh, whenever our player will put the mouse over the button i want to change the color of the border you can see it's white right now and i want to convert into yellow for that i already have a image that has yellow border color with the same ui as you can see it's the same image with the yellow color border so we can switch to this image whenever player will hover over this button so in hover section you can select that image so now whenever the player will put his mouse over the button the image will switch and goes into the yellow border so when the button is pressed we want to switch it back to the white border image so here you can select it there you go and now you can do the same thing with all the other buttons of the pause menu so let's do it okay now we need to arrange all these buttons in proper manner with proper spacing so for that i am going to use vertical box so drag this in canvas panel and let's resize it a bit uh, according to the buttons now we want all of these buttons inside this vertical box so for that let's uh, select all the buttons and drag this inside the vertical box there you go but here as you can see the desktop button is outside the vertical box in canvas panel even though it is inside the vertical box here you can see it clearly so to fix this we have to select all of the buttons and just click on the fill button over here and as you can see all of these buttons will get filled inside the vertical box 
but as you can see the buttons are looking kind of weird because they are not getting the size they required because they are getting filled with the size of the vertical box so the solution is simple we just need to change the size of the vertical box so here if you'll see each image takes the size of 400 by 154 so we need to change the size of the vertical box according to it so let's first change the x-axis it is going to be 400 and for the y-axis as you can see the size is 154 so let's change the size of the vertical box according to it so let's type 154 and as we have four buttons inside the vertical box we are going to multiply it by four and as you can see the size of the buttons are filled inside the vertical box properly now we will be needing space or gap between these buttons so for that let's search for these spaces and then drag this into the vertical box and uh, just place this below the resume button now as we will increase the value of the y axis it's creating the gap between two buttons in our vertical box but button size is also changing with that so let's add the space of 75 in the y axis but as the spacer is taking 75 extra space in the vertical box we also need to add the 75 more to the vertical box size as you can see the button sizes are fine now so we need three spaces for each of the buttons so after duplicating these spaces we can arrange them through these arrows on the canvas panel or we can also drag them between the buttons like this so as you saw we added two more spaces in our vertical box of 75 size each so we need to increase the size of the vertical box so we are going to add 75 into 2 because we are using two more spaces now as you can see the button size are perfectly fine inside the vertical box. Now let's center the position of the vertical box using anchors. So now let's decorate the canvas a bit. So for that I'm going to use border. So let's search for the border and let's drag this to the canvas. You can set the size of the border according to your need. As you can see the border is above the buttons but you want it to go behind. So we can drag the border just above the vertical box. As you can see the border is behind the buttons. Now we can also adjust the position of the border. Now let's change the color of the border to the black. And I am going to change the value of A channel to 0.5. This will add a little transparency to our border. Now let's add some blur to the background. So let's search for background blur. Now drag this to the canvas panel and from here you can set its position and size. After you set the size you can set the anchoring to the last one so that it will not go outside the screen. Ok after that uh, we can set the blur strength I am going to give it 5 but it's blurring the buttons also. So we need to drag this just above the border. As you can see now it's only blurring the background. So with this the designing part is done and now let's jump into the logical part. So we want to show this pause menu when a player press a key. So for that let's go to edit and go to project settings. And here let's uh, go to input. And from here we can add action mapping. So let's add one. I'm going to name this pause menu. Okay now we can select a key. So let's search for escape key. So actually we can't use the escape key because if we'll press escape key while playing it will just escape from the play mode and will return to the Unreal Editor. So instead we can use tap key for now. So let's use tap key and go to our character blueprint. In this case we have third person character. So right click and browse to the asset. So from here we can open up the blueprint. And from here we can call that action mapping. If I'll show you its name is pause menu and it's using the tap key. So uh, let's call this pause menu. There you go. You can find this under the action events. And whenever you will press tab key, it will get triggered. And after that, we want to show this widget. So let's create the widget. And on the pressed, uh, we want to create that widget. Its name is pause menu. So let's search for pause menu. There you go. And now let's add this to the viewport. Okay, now after we create the pause menu, we want to pause the game. So let's search for set game paused. Connect the execution pin and set this to true. This will pause the game. Now in order to click these buttons, we need to show the mouse cursor to the screen. So let's search for get player controller and 
through that we can search for set show mouse cursor there you go and check this to true and connect the execution pins after that uh, let's search for set input mode ui only and uh, here we want to focus on this ui so let's uh, connect the return value okay so when we are pressing the tab key we are creating the pause menu and after that we are pausing the game then we are showing the mouse on the screen and setting the game mode to ui only okay let's compile and test this if this works so let's press the tab key and as you can see we have the pause menu over the screen and the border color is also changing of the buttons but now we need to add logics to these buttons when we'll click them so let's click any button let's click on the resume button and scroll all the way down then add this on clicked event after that you will get this event so when you will click the resume button you want to unpause the game so search for set game pause and keep this boolean unchecked so when we created this widget we showed our mouse cursor as you can see here we showed our mouse cursor but now we need to hide it so let's search for the get player controller there you go and then we can search for set show mouse cursor and just uh, keep it unchecked okay so after that uh, we want to set input mode game only and finally we want to uh, remove this widget so search for remove from parent and this node will remove this widget you can see the target is self and we want to remove this widget so we are removing it now for the option menu i already created a option ui over here so we want to create this when we'll click the option button this one so let's scroll all the way down to on clicked event add it and let's create that widget so let's create and we want to create uh, this widget its name is option ui search for option ui and now we want to add this to viewport after adding to viewport uh, we want to remove this widget we want to remove the pause menu widget so it's self targeted and there you go so it should also work now to get back to the pause menu from the option menu i can add a on clicked event for this back button and let's create this widget we want to create the pause menu widget yeah this one so let's search for the pause menu widget there you go and let's add this to the viewport okay after you add this uh, you want to remove this widget so remove uh, from parent it's self targeted and there you go and now let's move on to the main menu button so let's add a on clicked event for this scroll down there you go let's add this now by clicking main menu button we want to open a level so you can select the open level by object reference and now we want a level to open so uh, if i'll show you i already have a main menu level so let's add this there you go you can add your main menu level so we are done for the main menu and now let's go to the desktop button so let's add a on clicked event for the desktop button also through desktop button we want to quit the game so let's search for quit game there you go and just select the quit game option from here so what this node will do this will just exit the game so let's compile and i think we are good to go for now uh, let's test this okay let's press the tab key there you go so we have our pause menu over here and uh, let's test this if this works so for the resume you can see our game gets resumed and getting paused whenever we are uh, pressing the tab key so now let's click on the option key so here we have the option menu we click on back button and we are back to pause menu now let's move on to main menu so we have opened our main menu it's actually a level select menu where we can select which level we want to play i already made a video on this that video link is in the description so you can watch that video too so finally we have the desktop button left so if you click this we will just simply quit the game easy now if you want to increase the size of the button when you'll put your mouse cursor over it you can follow me along with this tutorial otherwise you can uh, like this video or subscribe to this youtube channel and then you can go <laughs> anyways you can select a button and scroll down until you find a on hovered event so when we'll put our mouse over the button uh, this event will be triggered so let's get the resume button and let's search for set render scale okay let's connect the execution pins and let's set the render scale to 
which is 0.1 bigger than the normal size you can set any value you want according to your game now let's click on the resume button and add a unhovered event so when we will remove the mouse cursor from the button this event will be triggered and now we can set the button size to 1 which is the default value so let's connect all the parameter value and execution pins and yeah this is the blueprint code you need to copy for all the other buttons so let's do this so now we are done let's compile and finally test this so as you can see as i will put my mouse cursor over the buttons the button sizes increases and gets normal when i remove the cursor from them so if this video was helpful so you can you can drop a like and subscribe to this youtube channel my instagram link and discord link is in the description so you can join my discord server also and my game link is also in the description below so you can download my game so that's all for this video till then see you bye bye